So with Halloween coming next week, we had a bit of a a lot more fun sketch than that news that we just got. And uh, our so anyway, we want to we want to ask ourselves what would NHL players be dressed up as for Halloween? And we're got some costume ideas for all of them. And Philk is going to start with his three, and I'm just going to put it on the put it on the board as he says it. So the first one I had was uh, Chris Kreider as Casper the Friendly Ghost because Chris Kreider, when he doesn't show up, he's really just a ghost. If he doesn't score, he's a ghost. Uh, he's really not there if he doesn't score or deflect pucks in this case. <laughs> he hasn't scored on a shot this season. So, yeah, Chris Kreider is Casper the which, Friendly which, Ghost. Which hurts the president of the Chris Kreider fan club. Yeah, so. deal with it. All right. Uh, the next one I wanted to do was Nikita Kucherov as Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, <laughs> because it seems like every time he's out there now these days, he's got an injury that puts him on LTIR. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like he's falling apart and you wonder if they can put him back together in time for the playoffs. <laughs> well, <laughs> always do. And his, and his number doesn't go on the cap. No, no, no. Cap circumvention. It's great. Uh, and then my last one, I just put Connor McDavid as Jesus because I call him McJesus for a reason. And yeah, he's just, if Gretzky, if Wayne Gretzky is God, which he is in hockey, Connor McDavid is absolutely Jesus. So <laughs> I don't think I have to say anything more there. I think I want to go on with Mario ahead of that, but okay. That's, that's fine right now. All right, so those are Philk's costumes. We are now going to go to our Mr. Anthony LaRocco and what he picked. So I started with um, my boy, Ilya Sorokin, uh, and I put him as Mr. Fantastic because, as you know, um, Mr. Fantastic can stretch and conform uh, to his body, arms, legs, and do pretty much anything. And Ilya Sorokin is one of the most athletic goalies, um, you know, I've seen. Uh, you know, we were watching the game against Vegas the other night, and – you know, my even my wife noticed. She's like, "Oh wow, that guy's never gonna have kids." When <laughs> it's so, so <laughs> just totally stressed out, um, and did the splits. Uh, it's, so it's it's incredible what he does there. I thought that fit like a glove. Um, my second one, uh, being it's an Olympic year, Austin Matthews as Captain America. Uh, he might very well be captain of this Olympic team. Uh, I think he's the best goal scorer that they're gonna have, and you know, being that. Um, you know, he didn't get to see in Toronto. I think he's going to get to see for the U.S. Olympic team. You know, Arizona boy um, thought that was pretty fitting. And then lastly, um, one of my favorite players of all time, Alex Ovechkin <laughs> as Benjamin Button. Because, well, guys, he's 36 years old. Uh, he's got seven goals. Uh, I mean, this guy's playing at a pace where you could see him score 50 goals this year, which at 36 years old to do that would be incredible. Uh, and I think a 50, another 50 goal season from Ovi pretty much all, but not guarantees, but makes his chase to Gretzky that much more feasible. Uh, I he is, he is certainly playing like, uh, he is much younger. Yeah. Uh, I, I think thought? he would be the oldest player to score 50 goals in a season if he does it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't think there's anyone uh, that, that's older that's done it. Yeah, it's because, again, you need to have longevity. You need to be able to um, still feel good and, you know, get it, it, it's hard to get through an NHL season. Remember the year Verbeek and Messier were knocking on the door of 50 and then Verbeek separated his shoulder and Messier um, had back spasms. So, you yeah. never know. It could just happen like that. All right. We're going to go to my costumes. And my first one was Igor Sesterkin as Atlas, not the maps, the Greek God that had to hold everything together and hold the world up. Because after all, that's what Igor Sesterkin is currently doing for the New York Rangers. Where would they be without Igor Sesterkin right now? Hell. I mean, uh, that's just one I can't help but ask. And I think Anthony saw where my next one's going. As the Las Vegas Golden Knights, I'm going to dress them up as a power play goal. I, I was confused what to do for the Las Vegas Golden Knights for a power play goal, but they still don't have a power play goal. 
<laughs> it's, I mean, do you guys know what a power play goal is like? Do you know you're supposed to be Stanley Cup contenders? I, mean, I think you know, when they score a power play goal, somebody should just like plug Sam Rosen saying it in their stadium on their <laughs> on their PA system so that this way you can hear that because that would be hilarious. Well, going uh, going into last night, there were two teams that didn't have a power play goal in the season. One of them was Vegas. The other one was Colorado. Colorado, and then Colorado got a power play yeah. goal from Cal McCarr. Yeah. And guys, we are two hours and three minutes into this show today. Unless you're watching this on the short segment that you don't have to worry about it, but it wouldn't be a big apple hockey show unless we mention this name. And by the way, it's Jack Eichel as the prisoner from Iron Maiden. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's just where, and I was listening to that before. I'm not a prisoner. I mean, we're not going to sing. Don't worry about that. But great song. You should listen to that. And poor Jack Eichel now. And I, 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 he's actually got me feeling sorry for him. Just tell him which surgery to have. I mean, let, get this guy back in there. The Rangers. Yeah, the, the yeah Rangers they, power they, play they should. Uh, has been just as bad. Uh, but you know what, Baba, uh, <laughs> Mr. Ganush, I, I got to say, that's one of the questions we have. We want to know what some of your costumes that you guys might have in mind right now. Throw them, throw them in the comments. We're going to spend about Jordan two Stahl minutes on these discussing them, please. Jordan Stoll is Paul Bunyan. He looks like oh. he could be Paul Bunyan. He, he probably could be. He's, he's, he's one big boy. Johnny, uh, this, this is a good one from uh, Brody. They need to dress as a hockey skate because they forgot how to cycle the puck on the power play. That's, yeah. that's a good one. <clears throat> and there's there's a lot of those. Johnny Busick, by the way, oldest player yeah. for 50 goals. Wow. Yep. Age of 35. That's All crazy. Right. Um, I actually have an editorial today, too. That's what's even funnier about that before we could get to Q&A. So I'll, I'll go really quick. But I, have got, got, I have about like 10 minutes left or so before I got to go get. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hmm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.